This is Maria Elizabeth Macias Castro. She was decapitated for using social media to report cartel activities. Her head was displayed in a busy public square, warning others of a similar fate. Horrendous acts like this have become an all too common reality along the US Mexico border. In 2006, Mexico declared war on the cartel. In the years following, violence increased dramatically, leaving an estimated 60,000 people dead, including 67 reporters, 3,500 police officers, and over 1,000 children. The violence has displaced 1.6 million people, many of whom were forced to leave their possessions behind. While many Americans choose to write off the violence as Mexico's problem, the U.S. plays a major role in the conflict. The U.S. is the world's largest consumer of narcotics, creating a Mexican drug market worth 18 to 39 billion dollars annually. The U.S. has played a crucial role in the escalation of both sides of Mexico's drug war. On one side, the U.S. has given 1.4 billion dollars to aid the Mexican military. On the other side, Permissive U.S. gun laws have made it easy for cartels to purchase weapons that are illegal in Mexico. It is beyond time for the U.S. to take responsibility for its role in funding and arming a war that has increased horrendous acts of violence while failing to reduce the flow of narcotics.